Today, we're going to be looking at a crochet starter kit. Whether you're a seasoned crocheter looking to pass on your crochet skills to the next crochet protege, or you're coming to crochet for the very first time and you're wondering, where do I start? What materials do I need? What tools do I need? This review is going to be for you. I scoured the entire internet, Amazon, and came across the most complete crochet uh, starter kit set for the most affordable price. So the seller that I found, it's a basic generic Amazon seller, no particular brand name. Uh, the price of this whole kit is $26.99. And according to the site, it has a total of 50 items that came in the kit. So let me tell you exactly what comes in the kit and don't worry, I'm gonna take this down to the table and show you exactly what's in everything. So you're supposed to receive 38 uh, crochet tools. You'll get a little crochet hook bag and also a yarn storage bag. I was like, okay, this seems very convenient and you get a lot of stuff. So it only took about two to three days to come in the mail because of course I got Amazon Prime. And when it came in, oops, dropped it. The package is much smaller than what I thought. I mean, yes, it's dry sealed. And we're supposed to be getting 10 skeins of yarn. They're only 25 grams. I read it, so I'm not thinking they're supposed to be big things of yarn. But we're gonna open this up and see if it's worth it. Let me open one up and show you one piece of yarn now. Oh, the yarn's not bad. All right, let me show you one of the yarns. And remember, this is a starter kit. So I'm gonna take these all down to the table and show you exactly how all these things look and exactly what you get inside. This is everything that comes in a kit. It also has this little instruction sheet on how to start crocheting if you're wondering how. I definitely don't recommend using this. Go to YouTube. Actually, go to my YouTube channel if you wanna learn how to crochet but it has all the steps inside. You'll receive a yarn storage bag, 10 skeins of yarn, crochet hooks, 10 of them, stitch markers, yarn needles, yarn ripper, safety pin, stitch holders, measuring tape, nippers. I am not a big fan of nippers that don't have a shield over top of it, and especially that aren't closed because I will boop, boop, accidentally stab myself if I put this into my yarn bag. So that's not the best, but here we go. And you'll also receive a little hook bag. And I guess these are for knitters. I'm not a knitter. I don't know exactly what these do. These are knitting needles. You get four U-shaped these, U-shaped knitting needles, and these knitting needles. Let me turn it around. Knitters, tell me exactly what these are for. I see it's holding your stitch. So knitters, comment down below and tell me exactly what you use these for because I don't know, I'm a crocheter. All right, so now I'm gonna check out the most important, the yarn and the crochet hooks. Let's take a closer look at these crochet hooks. They're just the basic generic shape crochet hooks. The hit of them, they're more of a boy shaped crochet hook. Even though I love a Susan Bates was in line. Let me show you what a Susan Bates look like. But I'm not going to take that away because uh, inline is a personal preference. But what I do like about these crochet hooks over any other cheap crochet hook set you'll get, look at the length. Okay, let me show you my crochet hook. And look at this one. It's almost more, close to uh, about a half inch bigger. The reason why I mention this, when you crochet, if you ever notice you get crochet pain, especially in your thumb area, like this is where I get mine right here, it is because your crochet hook is too small and it creates pain. I learned this from the crochet nurse. She has her own YouTube channel. Make sure you check her out. So the longer your crochet hook is, your crochet hook is sticking out the back half of your hand, it's less likely that you'll have hand pain. Also, an, uh, was it? Ergonomic crochet hook will work best too, but I just love the length of these. And if you're teaching somebody how to crochet, you might as well get them the right length so they won't have hand pain later in life or later in crocheting too much. So let's make sure these crochet hooks are exactly the right size. I got my Big Sully. You might've seen me do a review on this about a couple weeks ago. You can check out that video. So this one is a five millimeter. Let's put it in. It fits and we're only gonna check two. And this one is a four millimeter. Where's the four? Oh, that's not four. One, four. 
and it fits. All right, so we know the hooks are great. So let's crochet with this hook and with this hook and this yarn. I wanted to show you what the yarn looks like inside of its kit. This kit is made of like a carrying case is made of a strange material. It almost reminds me of that bed cover you would put on your child's bed if you didn't want them to soil the mattress. Can you hear it? It has a nice little handle carrying case. It's not the prettiest, but it'll do. So let's open it up. I have my crochet hooks inside and let's take a peek at the yarns. The yarns are 25 grams of uh, yarn, which is about 57 yards. So they all are small skeins. This will be great, like I said, this is a starter kit or maybe somebody that does amigurumi. So let's take a closer look at the yarn. Let me see, if, uh, there we go. Like I said, it's not the highest quality of yarn. You're not gonna be like, ooh, this is fabulous. This is 100% acrylic yarn. Let me see if I can find a, here we go. Look at one of the strands. The weight is definitely worsted wet yarn. No, definitely not. But before I even crochet with this, I can already see it might be a little splitty. So we're gonna test that out with the crochet hooks. Okay, I was fibbing. I said this was definitely a worsted weight yarn because, okay, if you're looking at this, doesn't this look like worsted weight yarn? It's nice, thick, and fluffy. I noticed as soon as I put even just a little bit of tension on this, this yarn thins out quite a bit. So I would say this is actually a DK weight yarn. And so I dropped down to a four millimeter crochet hook. All right. I actually didn't notice as much splitting as I thought I would. So that's a bonus. But I can tell you this, if you're ever going to wash anything that you make with this yarn, I believe you will get a lot of paling. I don't know if you can tell from the camera. This yarn is loosely twisted, but there's little fuzzies like a halo fuzzy going around it. So I can easily pull off fuzz. So I can imagine in a wash, those fuzzies washing, <laughs> rubbing together and starting to make little pills all over your work. But other than that, oh, here's a little starter pill can you see it over in this corner all right but other than that it's pretty easy to crochet with let me show you what the swatch looks like with a four millimeter crochet hook it's very stretchy hmm i worked what did i work with this i worked this with a half double crochets and a four millimeter crochet hook it's a little spacey i can probably drop down another crochet hook but like i said this is to learn how to crochet not to make a crochet blanket Oh, I forgot to mention the uh, measuring tape is a 60 inch measuring tape and the nippers. Let's see if they work. They work perfectly. But once again, I am not a fan of nippers with no covers or at least doesn't close shut. There's no latch. So if you're having something for a small child, maybe take this out of the bag or replace it with a safety pair of scissors. But if you're an adult, don't care to accidentally get stabbed. Hey, perfect for you. All right, let me take it back up to the table and give you my final review. Before I start this final review, I have to ask this question one more time. Knitters, what are these things? And can you tell me down in the comments below? Because as a crocheter, I don't need these. So the final review, I'm gonna start off with my cons first. Uh, the cons were the yarn, it can be a, uh, a pilling type of yarn it doesn't have much splitting but I can tell from like that you can't see very much the halo of it but eventually this will start the pill and I thought it was a worsted weight yarn but it is definitely a DK yarn once you pull on the strand itself it kind of actually this one the gold one thins out more than this I probably should have did better comparison actually different colors feel different this brown feels softer and thinner than this right here. So I just noticed something completely different at the very end of my review. The colors are different. Now a uh, Red Heart Super Saver yarn, like the yellow and red, they're completely different textures. I wouldn't say these are completely different. Let me give you a better look at them. But can how you see this brown is thinner than this, uh, aqua color or turquoise all right so the yarn the yarn weight isn't exactly consistent so that can be a con most people would say the size of these skeins of yarn is a complete con but when I looked up other prices on yarn to for this size of skein in multi-colors 
it averages about $15. So you're getting this whole thing costs about $26. So with the extra things that you're getting, it's basically the same. That was my, oh no, I did have another con. You guys know I did not care for the nippers. I wish they were covered. But other than that, I like it. The carrying case is not the prettiest but it gets the job done. It definitely has that wet the bed type material, but my absolute favorite of everything is the length of the crochet hook. This is huge. Most people don't even think about the length of the crochet hook and how the size of your crochet hook can be causing you pain. This is one of the first generic type kits that actually had a long enough crochet hook that extends the outside of my hand. So, after looking at all of these and the prices, like I said, I pre-priced this as if I was gonna buy everything individually. And what I came up with, if I bought the yarn myself, if I bought all the tools and accessories myself, it would come to in between 24 to $30. So to have these all together at once, without having to search and everything, is convenient. So I'll pay that $26 for it. So on a scale of one to five balls of yarn, I'm gonna give this three and a half balls of yarn. I definitely recommend it for any beginner crocheter. I would not uh, recommend it for amigurumi because you might be particular about what type of yarn you're using. But if you are a beginner crocheter, you wanna gift this to somebody, excellent. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Make sure you check out my other reviews like my Big Selly Prim review and I'll see you on the very next one. Bye guys.